It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. All right, guys. So we are getting ready for Eats Con Fancy Food Festival in Santa Monica. All I know is that it was expensive to get in and we still have to pay for the food once we get in there. Free caviar though, I heard. Is it free caviar? No, it's not. Damn. Well, I'm just trying to make it look like it. <laughs> we used our money wisely. I hope that it's not crowded like 66 because as you guys know, I hate crowds, but we'll see. Okay, so I have to get the app. If it's only a dollar and we get to go all the way to the Barker hangar, I'm doing it. Oh, you gotta put your kickstand up. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, sick. Am I? Am I in? Hey. My sucks. What? Hey, how'd you do that? Got it. It's gone. All right, guys. So we are here in beautiful Santa Monica. We are here in beautiful Santa Monica, California, at the Barker Hangar. We are here for one thing: Eats Con. Uh, so it's a, basically a food festival, and it's thrown by this company called Infatuation. Here at this one-day food festival, there are a bunch of local restaurants as well as restaurants featured from out of state, from Chicago, New York, and even from San Francisco as well. On top of all the great food, there's also going to be some cool speakers as well as some live music and entertainment. We don't really know what to expect, but we just know that there's food in there, and that's what makes us excited. And you know, <laughs> the one thing that we do best is eat so we're gonna go inside and eat literally as much as we can and we'll tell you guys how it is we'll see you guys inside all right so first up for today we have fuku which Are you sure that's how it's pronounced I think it's, I don't I think think it's something else. So Fuku is a little love child by David Chang. So what we ordered today was their spicy chicken sandwich and their loaded fries. But unfortunately they ran out of spicy chicken already. And it's only 2 o'clock. It's only been 2 hours they ran out already. They have 5 more hours to tell people they ran out. These are the Fuku fries. It's loaded. It has the special fries. What are these fries? What it honestly doesn't look that special. It looks like a bacon, ranch, and cheese fries. But there's chives and bacon. I mean, how good could that possibly be, right? I'm going double. Oh, you're doing triple. No, double. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. What time are look fat? Cheers. I like the jalapeno seasoning. So it's tossing like a jalapeno. It's spicy. Woo! It's spicy for you? Yeah. It's a jalapeno coating <coughs> seasoning. So the fries are cooked super well, dude. Crispy, and then also like that mushy potato. I don't know. How do you describe that? Like tender? I don't know. It's good, but it's a little spicy. You know, I like other places you get like the fake bacon. This is a real bacon, right? Yeah. All right, let's move on to the sandwich. Looks like a Chick fil A sandwich. This is really small. That's for really disappointing. Bucks? Yeah. They have to substitute chicken fingers for this instead of the spicy chicken, so I'm just gonna eat one half. They have pickles in here, mayo, it's on a potato bun. You know everything good about a good chicken sandwich. Let's say presentation, subpar. Yeah. But taste is all that matters. I think I just love potato rolls, but the chicken is cooked very well. Average for me. The potato bun is the best part of it. I personally like the fries a little better. So what do you think overall? Overall fufu, good flavors, nothing super special in my opinion, but I enjoy it. I would eat it. Yeah. But for $12, I, don't I might know. go somewhere else. I think it's because the hype was so high. The line was so yeah. long, everybody was waiting. It has the fufu name, which yeah. is, you know, David Chang. I guess the hype wasn't there at the time, yeah. but it was still good. Don't hate us, David Chang. Please, please. <laughs> I know you're a subscriber to our channel, but we love you, bro. We're still on for uh, go-karts, right? Yeah, go-karts next week, don't forget. All right, so uh, we're gonna finish this, we're gonna find another spot to eat, and we'll be right back. Today, 
Family's Food Adventure, we have William's Family Kitchen. The cool thing about this is that the recipes are made by Pharrell's dad. We got a bunch of stuff here and he's really famous for their sauce. What did we get, Glenn? So we got this crack mac. I'm hoping there's no real crack, but if there is, I'm not mad. But it's basically macaroni and cheese, has some bacon. Bread crumbs? Bread crumbs for yep. sure. These are our pork sliders, typical pulled pork sliders. And finally we got there, wings. Wings, my favorite. I think these are grilled wings and I think they marinate it in their famous no-no sauce. All right, so let's try the sliders first. All right. Cheers. Shout out to Pearl. Thank you. Dad. It's good. The coleslaw, I don't like coleslaw. It is good. Being a southerner and being really critical of southern food and barbecue, this still passes. Obviously not the best I've had, but for all that, good job. Now we got the crack mac. So it's bacon, bread crumbs. This is Oh good. no! Bacon. Gentle. All right, cheers. Yeah. That's bomb. They both, I think the bacon is it's like sweet. They like glaze the bacon. Yeah, so this mac and cheese, dude. Fire. This might be one of the, my favorite mac and cheese I've ever eaten. No, it's really good. That, that is so good. I might have to go back for another one. I really might. So now we have the grilled wings, which is the first thing on their menu. I'm gonna go uh, wing it. Oh, He's nice. gonna go drum it. Okay. Cheers. It smells good. That's the bonus stuff. Okay, so it's uh, more on the sweet side. Definitely nothing like a vinegar-based sauce. There's a little bit of heat at the end, like very in the background, right? It's like chilling there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's also coming from that it's grilled. I wouldn't say top five wing, but I definitely revisit it. It's good. All right, so William's Family Kitchen, pretty good overall. My favorite is definitely the mac and cheese. Definitely, hands down. Yeah. Ten times more better than all the other things. Yeah. They're not bad, but it's just the mac and cheese was really amazing. All right, so that's it for uh, William's Family Kitchen. Uh, I guess it's time to look for some more food. Next up we have Liho Liho Yacht Club, which is a restaurant, a fancy one out of San Francisco. And we got their yacht dog. It's basically a spam dog. So it's like a deep fried spam. There's kimchi, ginger, green onions, and sesame seeds. A lot of things that I don't like, but it's on a Hawaiian bun, so. Did they really put katsu on a spam? They just deep fried it. Oh my goodness. All right, you can go first, dude. Oh, that looks like a champion life. I mean, there's a lot of flavors that I don't usually like, but mixed in is good. I really don't like ginger that much, but on here it's fine. What is that? It's like a, it's like a sweet and tart taste, along with the saltiness of the spam and the deep fried. It's just a really good balance. This might be the most interesting, but work for me. You know what's crazy? Like usually on these hot dogs that are crazy, we have like spicy mayo, or like bacon, or like that all stuff. that, all that stuff that's like very typical. But this is a very unique hot dog. Something I never would have thought of. Getting full, but I think we're gonna search for some more food. More food. All right. All right, guys, so we're coming to the end of our day, and we thought we would end it with you guys know how dessert. To satisfy our sweet tooth, we went to Sweet Rose Creamery, and we got the... Camp? Whoa! Camp! <laughs> We got the campfire sundae. I got excited. Campfire sundae. I think it's vanilla ice cream. With like, they put this big glob of toasted marshmallow. They torched it, and then they added some uh, pretzels on top. I really think they skimped out on the graham crackers. They're supposed Probably. to be, and they think they ran out. out. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus Christ! Whoa! whoa. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Cheers. I think it's terrific. It's good. It's thick with like three seeds. I like the ice cream. I'm not really into marshmallows, but I like the crunch that you get from the pretzel. The pretzel is definitely necessary. It cuts through all the thickness of the ice cream. That's a good end cap for me. There was so much food today. It was really nice to end on a sweet note. We're gonna finish this ice cream, maybe look around a little bit more, and then uh, come back to you guys. All right, guys, so that's it for Eats Con. Whoa. I really need to pee, <laughs> so let's get this done with. Like Glenn said, thank you guys for coming along and watching this whole food adventure here at Eats Con. Glenn, what was your favorite thing of the day? Favorite thing of the day would probably have still been the mac and cheese. Just a few things about Eats Con. It was cool. It's kind of like a higher end, I would say. Yeah, a little food fancier, festival. a little classroom. Definitely a little less people than you would usually have at a food festival. A little bit higher end kind of foods. So there was Foods Con or Eats Con, but no Drinks Con. There was nothing to buy. All they had was were LaCroix. 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 And it was just not quenching my thirst. Or alcohol. Yeah. 
yeah, so you have a choice and it's a tough one. Next time, EatsCon, have a drink vendor. Please. Other uh, cool things, they have like speakers, they had panels, people singing. The people play on the stage right now are really good. I was just really blown away by all the details that they had. Custom signs, they had lounges, bookstores. They had way more than food. They had a barcade, oh, really, nice. really cool. And it was just like a very, very relaxed kind of vibe to food festival. Usually when I go to food festival, it's kind of hectic and chaotic. This one, I was definitely got to take a step back a touch and kind of see my options, so I was really happy about that. All right, so I just want to thank you guys again for watching another one of our videos. If you guys are watching us for the first time, please hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys want to watch the rest of our videos and get notifications, hit the bell button right next to it. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype Foods. But I wasn't